Hello everybody, welcome to round three of the NAF World Cup qualifying. We've got the top of the table clash Thulian with his Wood Elves versus Niaga with his Dark Elves. And in the booth with me is the sexiest man in Blood Bowl. Well, probably not. The <laughs> third sexiest man in Blood Bowl, Dimmy G. Hello. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't lie. I've just been honest. But look, third sexy is really good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> in Blood Bowl, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know, there's Russell Orm and there's Murloc Joe, isn't there? Murloc Joe? I've never seen Murloc Joe. No, oh, he's sexy. <laughs> Not as sexy as Russell Orm, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, um, so looking at these teams, we've got Dark Elves, we've got the standard three dodge blitzers, a block and a wrestle, and we've gone with a leader runner again. Again, not what I would do, but fair enough, like it's pretty common, isn't it? I've gone for three, three rerolls, no, uh, no, I think this might go to four. Oh no, got the, got the reserve, okay, so I think that's three including the leader. And then Tulian has two rerolls and an apple. And what do we have here? Wrestle, dodge, dodge, linos, and a size. I hate the size up catcher, honestly, because it was really good when they had sprint. I don't know if you know, Dimmy, but uh, <laughs> Wood Elf catchers <laughs> used to have a sprint. Did they, Jim? Yeah, but without sprint, the size up's way worse. So, um, oh yeah, Rego. Oh, I was, well, I was talking Twitch, but yeah, okay, f fourth, fourth for Dimmy. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> there was somebody else as well after Rego who had like an unbelievably handsome uh, picture for the uh for the blitz pit. Anyway, so yeah, hey, two wrestlers. You. It wasn't me, no. Two wrestlers, two dodgers. But yeah, I, d I don't like I do not like the sidestep, I'll be honest with you. Um tackle and a strip, pretty standard. Uh but yeah, that's the that's the only thing. I guess I'd go guard on the tree man. Um but you know, it's not terrible the sidestep on the catcher. Like sidestep's still an okay skill. The treatment, which is yeah. So like sidestep's an okay skill. It's just that you, you basically you don't really have a chance of the one turn, right? Like Do they get so, a double? Uh, no, oh, no, no, guard guard for the tree man. Yeah. He's he gets strength. Um but yeah, sidestep's still good, it's just that a lot of the a lot of its power comes from the one turn, right? Like with Skaven, like you know, the you know, having the, that really helps with the one turn. And I feel like you, 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 your one turn is low enough odds that it's probably not worth dedicating the skill to it. Dedicating. Mm. Brilliant coaching, that's a good sign for us. We're going to see some brilliant coaching here. What? Bosh. Great start. Mm. Full pal. Interesting to split the LOS rather than like normally people, you know, put their guys next to the tree, right, to make the blocks a little bit harder and stuff. Interesting <laughs> that Tulian exposed his tree. I guess he was worried about a Daka, wasn't he? Maybe, yeah. Just wanted to make him dodge. I think people are always going to punch hoodies. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Got a blodger with a ball. Which is, of course, counted by both dancers. <laughs> Three three D blitz. No 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 only a two D. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. dear. What a mistake, oh, Julian. Obviously thought exactly the same as me, right? I'll just put the assist in then three D blitz and then forgot to stand this guy up, got ahead of himself, and then didn't stand the guy up and then didn't make it a three D. Yeah. I've done that many a times. Like I have a plan, I'm like, alright, I'll do this and I'll do this and then whoops. <laughs> But it was a nice idea because it was, you know, it was into a into a follow-up hit as well. Chalice nerves. Chalice nerves. Tinking in three dimensions. Instant fail. Oh. We do have the tackle bits though, yeah. This blodger is a bit exposed there, I'm not sure. That was a, a right little bit, yeah. The blodger. The tackle right there, and yeah, Bosch instantly removed. <clears throat> Didn't want him anyway. <laughs> Don't even care. Oh, he's going for boot. He's going for the old cups. Ah, yes. Classic. The double D's.
Oh, we didn't dodge the wrestler. Mm. He's using dice hacks, isn't he? If the next <laughs> dice roll is a snake, <laughs> we know what's going on. Not even a snake, or one. <laughs> I think, is this going to be a witch elf blitz? Yeah, I thought it might be. The classic, uh, the classic necromantic <laughs> blitz. Chain them onto the ball, yeah. Nice. Oh no, no, blitz then dodge away. <laughs> Classic. If that was a push, that was really bad. I mean, bad. You, you could push him to here, right? And then, and then block him away on three dice. So it was, it was alright. Are they not both moved? No, 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 the, the blitzer hadn't moved. There was a blitzer hadn't uh, moved. Uh. Oh wow, we've gone in. We've gone in for the leap. Oh my god, what the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't... Why was that a billion fucking animation? He failed the leap, so basically he failed the leap and then it was it would have put him in the ball, but then when he re-rolled it, he rolled a one. So because you roll a one on the leap, you fall over in the square that you're in. Right. So, so like, he did originally fall over in the square in front of the... I don't know why he sort of flipped <laughs> over him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he did originally fall over in that square. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible! And then, and then when he re-rolled it, he rolled a one. I wouldn't have done that. Yep. <laughs> 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 well, there you go. Yeah, it was it was the flip over the player with the ball that <laughs> was really really confusing. Yeah, <laughs> Cause yeah. he never would have ended in that square anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, I was bamboozled. But now we, we've 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 figured it out. Thank you very much. Block witch, nice. Yeah, I like the block witch. I like a block witch. Yeah, I like one of each. I think uh, we're just gonna instantly go in for the hit again, right here. I mean, if you're gonna do it the first time, I don't see why you wouldn't do it the second time. You've got an instant one D. It's one wee well though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, true. True, so maybe he thought, I'll go for it early and now I'll just play off and play safe and hope for the best. Hope for the best. I think maybe maybe this guy should have been one back, right, to try and still sandwich them without giving it a hit. No, he's gone for the 1D, gets the power. Bosh. Easy, easy game. Didn't even need tackle. Doesn't follow. Dodges away, picks it up. Has to GFI to not be served by the Witch Elf. Oh, well, no, only needed one GFI. So, maybe shouldn't have made the second one. But needed one to not get served from the Witch Elf, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Flip me, guys. Instant, uh... Good, good enough. Wandy. Couldn't everyone be one square over to the left? Oh dear, mm. what happened there? Wow. So... Doesn't matter? No. So yeah, so he, he did the extra GFI so that he could get this, like... They, they couldn't. They could be one over the left, probably. No, no it'd be another GFI. I think this was this was correct for his screen. That's why he did the second GFI, so he could make this like you know half K. Yeah. But um, I'm not sure it was necessary. I mean, it's obviously easy to say now after using your last reroll on it. But um, I don't know. I would just want him off the sideline and then uh, uh, catch him made max GFI. Yeah. I would. I would just wanted him off the sideline and then try and defend him as much as possible. After that. Um, but like obviously this is stronger if you can get there. But um, wow, what a what a double skull. But I mean, what a way to start the turn just as cheeky one dice. So th this position looks amazing now. <laughs> this, this this guy who gave that hit just <laughs> caused. Did he just like? Did he just not think that was a one day? Yeah, he must he have must thought have... it was a two. He must have thought it was a two. He must have just like completely just thought the tree with was... maybe the tree blended in with the pitch. Yeah. Like I mean, there's a. Uh... But he was this he way as well. He was looking. No, from no, 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 no. He, he wasn't. He wasn't looking from this way. He was looking from the other way. He was yeah, looking yeah, from this right. way. Yeah, he's right. He's right. Yeah, he's looking from here. So. Yeah. 
So maybe you just didn't see the tree. Don't know. I don't know. Don't know. But what a what a what a disaster just do a one day. Or maybe it was to or maybe he was gonna to try and get the witch to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in, but it didn't even re reach. It doesn't make any sense to just do this random ass block. It doesn't do anything. That was not good. Oh. Oh. Very sensible. Stalling here, even with no rerolls. With no rerolls, I'm not sure that the blitz was was super correct. Maybe it was. Because like it could, it, it's giving yourself like two chances to fail. Right, you can double skull the initial block, but then you could also, if you one in nine, you've got a dodge anyway, which he did. So it did give an extra roll, but then obviously you're getting to hit his blood with tackle, which is pretty good. <coughs> so probably was, well, almost certainly was correct to blitz, but there is an argument for not and just dodging off anyway. Ah yes, good point, Dementor. Yeah, not don't want to. Could have been one up to stop getting pushed into the uh, end zone. I'd be quite happy to get pushed in at this point. Oh, he's going for the push in. Look at this foresight from Dementor. Was going for the push in. Oh, the yeah. I think you can stall this now, right? Jesus, you just run back over yeah. the other side. Yeah, I mean, turns out, mm. you know, making that block, <laughs> making a 1D block, and yes, it was unlucky for for it to be skulls into skulls, but that was a real bad mistake. Big mistake. Yep. Hang on, this is a 3, 2, okay. 4, 3, 2, hmm. 4, 3, 2, 2, 1, <laughs> one, one. Oi! What? He double wand. And, double uh, wand. Oh no, maybe he'd already popped dodge. Well, whatever it was, he uh, he failed. Oh, he could blitz and then jump. That's a four plus, isn't it? <clears throat> he could jump over the dancer and <gasps> one the ball. He could jump over the dancer. He's not. I mean, it's all, a bit, it's, yeah, it's all a bit desperate, isn't it? But yeah, it's a four plus for a one D. Four plus six plus. Easy. Five. Three oh, the ball as well. Yeah, the ball as well. Yeah. All right, Jimbo. Yeah. Uh, no, nobody can pass Cart Magon. Just, just like one turns right when you have to. Five plus six plus. Badly hurt. Oof. Apoed. No apoed. Apoed. I didn't see. Apoed. Apoed. Who was? Who got badly hurt? <laughs> just a liner, wasn't it? It was the Wood Elf, the Wrestle Lino. The Wrestle Lino, well, yeah, he's a reserve, so got a pod. And then just go in. Yeah, I don't hate going in there. The uh, Dark Elves are likely to one turn, and you don't want to risk anything, right, with no rerolls. <coughs> so, very unlikely the Dark Elves one turn. Super unlikely. Got a sidestep and to stop the one turn. Eh? What's going on here? Eh? Yeah, it's super low odds. I mean, it might be super low odds, but it's how oh, he got stunned. It's still doable. I mean, it's not really. Not, not the way he set up. Maybe if he'd set up. No, he couldn't. He definitely couldn't do it the way he set it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard, though. Like it's really hard. Was well, it four pushes? Of them? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. It's really hard. Uh, yeah. If you got like two frenzy players, and it's, I guess it's one into. Oh no! You could actually do it. It's hard. You'd have had to. You'd have had to power the. 
Thatcher. So maybe pile if you want two D on the Blitz, which you kind of need, you'd have yeah. to pile the Catcher first on three dice. So maybe use your first Witch Elf to, to hit the Catcher twice and hopefully knock it down. And then you have to Blitz the other guy and then you use all your players anyway. It's really hard. It's really hard. I wouldn't bet on anyone except K Fog or Elliot to do it, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I, I, I think I'm pretty good at one turns, but I would just be like, oh, oh wow, we've got the uh, we've got the tree back for the uh, the Daka. Love to see it. How did he know the ball was going to that side, though? It's genius, isn't he? Uh, I'm not sure about the deep tree. Uh, Elliot likes the like LOS on like, the sideline. Yeah, likes the sideline. Yeah, forward. that's it. This seems a bit too deep because you've got to abandon it. Whereas, if you have it up here, it, it becomes like your point of contact tree, doesn't it? Whereas here, it's like, well, they'll just they'll just line up here then, <laughs> and now your tree's got to walk forward for a few turns. Well, he can't just line up there because he's one nil down. Ah, yeah, true, true. Yeah, okay, okay. He has to come okay. to the ball. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Errata, errata. Yeah, disregard, Jim. That's all right, chat. Errata. Sorry, it's it's seven a.m. for me here in England, so you know I'm not up tip top, tip top in my game yet. Interesting, interesting to leave the ball on the ground. Was there a failure to pick up the ball, or just no attempt? He didn't attempt it. He likes building suspense for uh, <laughs> for everyone watching. You know. mm. So I could pick it up, but uh, you know. Push. <laughs> oh, so yeah, so deep trees are okay. Deep trees okay because. I'm not sure I'd have moved it at all, to be honest. I think I'd have just caged around it. Oh, his sidestepper got KO'd. When did his sidestepper get KO'd? On the LOS. Must have been on the LOS on that one turn, I think. Mm -hmm, probably. <sighs> We've got a very dicey pickup now. <laughs> oh. Flip me. Is it a handoff? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Well, okay. I mean, more or less got there. What was that one on the end there? Dodge skill, oh, okay. <coughs> Hello, Hamas. Man, there's so many dice that fly up on this game and I'm just like, what the hell it's are they? It's weird, like, isn't it? Because what I... are they? What is this dice for? Yeah, because like, what, playing Blood Bowl 2, I never cared about the dice log because I always knew what was happening and then... Yeah, yeah, the like now it's just like <laughs> random dice. But the, the, the timing of the dice is like yeah. so off that you yeah. like... What you the hell's spent... happened? I've got to look at the dice log. I've got no yeah. idea what this is. <laughs> <laughs> just look when people stack actions as well. It's just like bosh, 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 and you're just like, what? Yeah. Need, need like a slow motion replay. Oh, what? There is a deliberate dice delay on it. Oh no, I turned off the dice they were... Oh it's, yeah, I turned off everything, mate. Mate, streamers who have blood on, stop it. <laughs> Just stop it. Like, honestly, sort your lives out. Like, <laughs> blood on, no watchy. <laughs> giving it back to the dancer. Yeah. If I, turn, oh, no, if I not, tune in... Not giving it back to the dancer. I thought he was going to come up here. And then hand it off back down to the dancer. Just, I, I really like having it on a, on a strength three bludger with leap. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I really like having it on the dancer. 
Than, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Uh, rather than oh my god, this whatever this was. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Are we going to hit the ball here? No. Could have done right. Could have just um, could have hit the tree very easily. Hit the tree, and then uh, hit this guy, and then come in for the ball sack. Oh hey. Oh hey. Didn't bother with the ball sack. Yeah. Tricky in it to defend because you obviously with Nyagi, not only have you got to defend like the like you've got to defend the eight turn score, you've got to defend the breakaway, and you've got to try and threaten the counter score as well. Like it's so hard to try and defend here. Yeah. Just swing back <clears throat> this way now, isn't it? I can't recommend anyone goes 1-0 down on their drive against Woody. <laughs> no, no. No, it's not a great not a great idea. Oh, pushing forward to try and get it done. And this is okay as well, I guess. Hmm. Double one? Oh, it was. <laughs> oh dear. And yes, now having the ball on the dancer would be a lot better. <laughs> Oof. And yeah, could have just gone over here. Could have just gone really safe over here. But try to make this, you know, and like, look, 35 times out of 36 and make the dodge off. And, uh, and everything looks pretty decent. <laughs> Oh, there we go, both down. Oof. Picks it up. We don't know what turn it is, but you know, it's it's it's, it's we can guess. I reckon there's about three or four turns left, Jim. Yeah, so it makes sense. and plus Maybe. it's around elves, like you've got to pick it up, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Oh, there's a snake. Mm. Well, the tackle is right there. The stripper is uh, way out of the picture. So an instant 2D. That got to re-roll. Wait, it's like instant. <coughs> That's a dodge. Oof. Oh, mate. Gets the pow. Flip me. Oh, a game. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I, would, I would hate to be either team in this game. <laughs> yeah. This is where I start getting heart palpitations. <laughs> is he going to foul or is he going to try and double GFI? I'm going to try and double GFI. Ah, I'm going to not pick it up. Interesting. Are we going to scatter it here? Sur scatter by surfing him? That seems okay, doesn't it? Uh... <laughs> oh, God. And that looks like we're going to scatter by so Oh, no, we're not going to scatter by so I'm going to dub score. Okay, get the pushes. No. Catches it! <laughs> and serves him. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, because the ball could have gone anywhere, couldn't it? If it goes into the crowd, that can be a real game winner. Yeah, for evil person, really. Like, because mm -hmm. if it goes into his own end zone, then, like, that war dancer's just got, like, a 3 2 away. Mm. Right, he would have had other people to react afterwards, right? So. But, uh, well, not if it goes right by the end zone, like, no one's going to get up there. I know, like, I know what you're saying, but. Yeah, he could have made a complex web of. Players. What is this? You said this like twice. This web thing. What is, <laughs> what's going? What have you? What film have you watched? 
<laughs> um, the boys, isn't it? Web Weaver. Uh, is that what it is? is that, was no. that an episode this week or something that you've watched? It was, but I mean, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I do it. I do it. You said it in the tree game as well. You said, oh, this web defense. <laughs> well, because that's, that's what you need versus elves, right? Like you need. Oh, a web. Right. Yeah, yeah, You yeah, need a yeah. web because they just they just roll twos and just get through you. So you need like you need lots of things. Oh, well, there we go. This is easy, wasn't it, for the dark elves? See you later, mate. Yeah, Fulian went out of time. Oof. Time bank run out. Sad times. And that is it. G flipping G. Oh, she wrote. <laughs> that tackle animation does my head in. <laughs> I, li I like it because I don't play it. <laughs> if, if I played it, it would piss me right off. Yeah. Yeah. I find it hilarious every time it does it to a streamer. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, they're trying to replicate like a uh, tabletop event, right? So it's just like Swiss. Um, which Swiss was a good idea for like, if they could have done it for the first one when they had like loads of entrants, right? The first time they did, they had like about 200 entries or whatever. So they had to have a draw to get into the 128 man knockout tournament. This time, they could have had 200 people in a Swiss tournament, but they just didn't really advertise it at all. And only 50 people had signed up for a World Cup. With, for two World Cup tickets, only 50 people signed up pretty wild um, a bit sad you know they could have they could have easily had 200 again um, and just didn't and it would have worked then like 200 like Swiss would have been perfect for 200 people but for 50 people it's a bit excessive six rounds of Swiss but you know it's got that tabletop feel flavor flavor flav there you go now he manages to get the draw. Probably, you never know, there could be a one turn. Um, Thulian does have the sidestep. OP, sidestep's OP. Has the sidestep come back? Yes. Six rounds it is, yeah. Yeah, six, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah it is six rounds. Well, it's six what rounds in the rule pack. It's six rounds in the rule pack. The rule pack says six. Is there a strength for schedule in it as well? And no, no, any, no, no. I was going to say, is there any way for Blood Bowl 3 to... Pro it's amazing how Tor Play can program strength for schedule, but Blood Bowl 3 can't. Mm. Um. Do you know what it's called on Tor Play? It's really funny. What's it called? It's it's like... <laughs> it's, it's abbreviated to BHZ. I'm gonna see if I I might. It's like Brahambsva or something like that. I don't know. Mm. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, mm. Here it's B H. Uh, it's Bushol's score, which is B U C H H O L Z. Hmm. Which I'm assuming maybe like German for strength for schedule or something. I don't even know where tour play originates. Mm. No idea. But um, yeah, I don't know if that was possible after the. Uh, the Fun fact. Sorry, sidetracked. No, that was. It was uh, yeah, I would have expected a name as well. Oh, hey, he's cool. Yeah. Like oh, no. Elo is a name, isn't it? Yellow. It's not yellow. It's not. It's not named after Electric Light Orchestra. Yellow. <laughs> um, Probably e this. Hello. Oh, we. What is this? Hello. Hello. Oh, oh it's a chess game, thing. Right? Ah, of course it is. Ah. It always is. It was developed in 1932, and it's not in Blood Bowl Three. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly a hundred years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Right, well there you go. That was that was a cool game, wasn't it? Um, and there you 
you go. Nice to see two beginners playing a game there. Thulean level 61 and Niagara level 90. Two, two Blood Bowl beginners. Um, <laughs> of course, you know, getting the table toppers and Blood Bowl 2 is out to try and play for the uh, tabletop of the tabletop of the World Cup tickets. Not actually beginners, but it's quite funny. You know, that will be that will be a factor in terms of grappling with the interface, I guess. Um, so, yep, there you go. Thank you very much, Dimmy. Glorious of you to join me. Hello, with. Jimmy. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.